Oh no, 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 no. Get the guns on, get the guns on. Oh! <laughs> oh, there is no way! Hello everybody, welcome back to another War Thunder video, and today we're going to be talking about one of the most controversial planes in the game. Well, we're going to be playing one of the most controversial planes in the game. It is, of course, the R2-Y2. You could pick any of these planes, and uh, they would also fit the bill. They are kind of all... well, they're not all the same, but... Now, we're going to talk about why they're controversial in just a moment when we hop into a game. But right now, I can just say that these poor planes have been through the ringer, and have just been nerfed again and again and again, and now they're basically unplayable. But just how unplayable are they exactly? Believe it or not, these used to be bombers. These used to have the bomber designation. They used to get an air spawn. That day has since passed. They are now considered fighters, weak fighters, might I add. 536 miles an hour at 8.0. That's pretty bad. That's roughly, depends on what plane you're talking about, 100 miles an hour slower than the competition. The turn time, 30 seconds. It's also longer than most of the competition. And the rate of climb, 20 meters a second. Pretty, pretty slow. Not a good start for the RTY. It also gets rather slow, unwieldy 30 millimeter cannons. So that's not great. But it can carry a bomb. Remember, this was apparently a bomber. So let's hop into a game and see just how good or bad the R2-Y2 is going to be. So, long story short, while we take forever to get to the battle, yes, we spawned in slightly late, but at the same time, even if we spawned at the same time as everyone else, we would be far behind them because this plane just isn't fast enough. The lore behind the R2-Y2, and this is kind of leading into why it's so controversial, is basically, it didn't exist. This is not a real plane. Very little actual information exists on the R2Y. A lot of people kind of wondered why it was added in the first place. Personally, I'm quite happy with paper planes being added, but such little information exists on any of the three R2Ys, it just makes you wonder why Gaijin, who is normally very adamant against adding vehicles which don't have a lot of information on, decided to do this. I understand at the time it's because the Japanese tech tree was fairly small and they kind of needed some jets to come to the game, but at the same time, was this the best choice? And even so, whether it's come to the game or not, this is like a post-war design. It's not exactly state-of-the-art. So why is it at 8.0? What exactly about this plane makes it so good? I mean, look, we're watching missiles get flung about at each other. And this plane, well, it's a bit out of its uh, comfort zone. We'll say that. But maybe we'll have a good game. Who knows? Let's see. Skyhawk. Well, no matter what area your plane's from, 30 mils definitely hurt, so, yeah. And that's two Skyhawks destroyed already. Okay, maybe we are in luck after all, but that's a MiG-15, that is scary, to be honest. Now, normally I wouldn't say that, but this plane is just so weak. It's everything. I mean, it's slow, it doesn't turn particularly well. The guns are just dated. Oh, ho, 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 yes. So, yeah, it's a pretty controversial addition. People are scrambling to unlock these because they're basically being threatened with being removed from the game altogether. Because Gaijin has done that in the past. And if anything is to be removed, I think the R2Ys are pretty high on their chopping list. Do I want them to be removed? No, but that's different to what Gaijin will end up doing. In essence, you have a very primitive jet fighter. No longer a jet bomber because they just made it a fighter, took away its air spawn, and made it pretty useless. Oh ho ho! Maneuver kill, we'll take that. How many enemy planes are around us? Because it seems like there's quite a lot. Okay, we've got some backup, we should be fine. There's another Skyhawk, can this be our third Skyhawk kill of the game? That'd be quite funny. Well, we got a critical hit. Come on, come on, come on. I think he's down for the count. He is down for the count. Oh, that's a missile. Whoa! Uh, I'm pretty sure we were out of the way of that, but we still got hit by the explosion, so... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Get the guns on. Get the guns on. Oh! Oh, there is no way! We are top boarding with five kills with one of the worst jets in the game. There is no way. And I know there's gonna be some angry comments for me calling it the worst jet in the game, but let's be real, it's 8.0, with the speed of a 7.0, with the turning of something even lower, with some big chunky guns, which, I mean, they hit hard, but that's about all they do. They are slow, 
fairly unwieldy. And yeah, it's just a big clunky bus of a... It's not even... I mean, look at it. It's fat. It is a fat plane. It is not sleek. It is not nimble. It is not fast. And yet we are top boarding against planes from the 50s right up to the late 50s. I mean, the Skyhawk entered service in 1956, I think. And some of those, the A4Es, which we shot down, I think that was even later than that. And this plane, hypothetically, because remember it didn't really exist, supposedly 1947, if anything. I'm not even sure how we're still alive, we just kind of tanked the explosion of a Sidewinder, somehow managed to shoot down the guy that fired the Sidewinder, and we've lived to tell the tale. I mean, the X-Ray, it's not looking too good, but... Well, we are still alive for the time being. So, this battle has come down to the final moments. It is me and... Okay, there's actually more teammates on our team than I thought. But, well, aside from the guy that I was going to try and save, who is now dead, I don't know where the rest of our team is. And two of them are bombers, so... Probably can't expect too much help for them. There is a Sabre down there, an F-86F. And, yes, once again, a plane that is vastly superior to our own in every way. Especially when he knows I'm coming as well. Uh, okay... Oh god, no air brake on this thing. It's just slow, man. <laughs> it just makes no sense for it to be at 8.0. That Sabre is at 8.0 because it's a good plane. Oh no, I think this might be it for our plane. Oh no. I mean, we've got severe damage on him as well. Okay, well, I suppose six kills in a full up tier in... One of the worst jets in the game is, uh, it's not too bad. So it turns out our team did actually have what it took to win that game, so thank you team. And that was the R2-Y2, a controversial addition to War Thunder for many reasons. Does it deserve to stay though? Well, that is up to you, so comment down below what you think of this and its other two friends, uh, the other R2Ys. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you think of this funky aircraft. Is it good? Is it bad? Does it deserve to be in the game? I personally think it does, maybe just at a slightly lower battle rating. Anyways, that's all we've got for today, so if you like this video, do hit the like button, subscribe for more, check out other videos on the channel, and hit the bell to stay notified, and I'll catch you in the next one.